On the heels of the recently released report on UFOs, Robert Coyne, a senior lecturer in physics at URI and a gravitational wave astronomer, is talking to us about the possibility of intelligent life somewhere out there and what the report means for the future. It's in tonight's Community Focus. A lot of people are hoping that this report proves or at least gets us closer to proving that um, there is intelligent life out there. What do you make of those hopes? Do you think this gets us any closer to proving that? I think the hope is admirable. I think, you know, many scientists, particularly astronomers, would probably argue that the universe is just too big uh, for there not to be something else out there somewhere. Um, I don't know that this report actually gets us any closer to confirming that, though. What do you think a lot of these phenomena are from your expertise? I mean, they had 144 of them. They only explained one as a large deflated balloon. What do you think some of these could be caused by? Well, I will start off by just acknowledging that this is a little bit outside of my area of expertise as an astronomer. But with that said, uh, I tend to try to follow Occam's razor with a lot of reports like this one. Um, the more direct and kind of simpler solutions are any of number of things that are outlined in the report, whether it is, uh, you know, they are devices, advanced devices being flown by the government of, you know, a government, a private business, things like that, natural phenomenon, whether that's atmospheric or otherwise, other general, you know, junk that might be up there. I don't think, I think it's very easy to say that it's uh, because it's hard to pin down an exact explanation that that's evidence for there being some type of exceptional explanation. But I think the reality is probably there's just too little data for most of these objects and most of these observations. Uh, and that doesn't mean that there's something particularly exceptional about them, just that we don't know enough about these individual events to be able to confidently pin it down. Do you think that this report will sort of open new doors in terms of how we discuss this topic? I think any time that there's any level of transparency with investigations into things like this one, it can only be a good thing as far as furthering the public discourse. I will say that it's nice to see this avenue of exploration, whether it is explaining the threats that loom in the military footage that these were, you know, recovered from, or whether it's just the conversation about intelligent life in general. It's nice to see that be in the public eye, even if only for a short time. I, you know, I remember times back from, say, the 90s, for example, when SETI was always in the news because it was so prominently featured in movies and television. And so it's always nice to see resurgence of interest in better understanding what's out there. As for what it's going to do, my suspicion is that more it's more of the same. The organizations and entities that look into these things will continue to do so. And the next time a nice opportunity to produce a report comes around, hopefully we'll, be, we'll get to be let in on the conversation. What am I neglecting to ask? What else would you like to let people know from your perspective? I think that it is very fun, really interesting, and it's a good thing that we are looking at this report and kind of evaluating it critically. I do want to caution in general that, again, a lack of information does not itself say much other than we don't have enough information. I'm reminded of an event from, at this point, the better part of half a decade ago, where astronomers uh, looking at the Parkes radio telescope saw these fast bursts of radio waves, and they didn't know where that came from, and it was really exciting, and there were all these papers that were coming out, and what could these be? Are they related to these fast radio bursts that we know come from other galaxies? And ultimately, after a lot of scrutiny, it turned out to be someone opening a microwave too quickly. So oftentimes the simplest explanations can elude us even when we do have copious amounts of data. So I would say that it's important to be curious, continue to look into it, but try to be skeptical and let the data speak for itself. And open your microwaves very slowly. <laughs> yeah, maybe just let the timer finish.